Hello Capricorn, welcome to your June 2018 reading. This is a general reading for you Capricorn. Some of it may resonate, all of it may resonate. Also listen to your rising sign and your moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. I had a few inquiries about how to, how to find your rising sign and moon sign. There are a lot of very good astrology uh, free astrology um, sites on the internet. If you type in free astrology chart, a whole lot of sites will come up for you. Choose one and type in your birth date, your birth time and your birth place and you can print out your free astrology chart. And from that you will find out what your rising sign and moon sign is. So I hope you find that helpful. This is a general reading for you Capricorn. <clears throat> if you would like to have a personal reading, one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can follow the link to my website below and book a private reading. It's a longer, more, more detailed reading than what you get here and it is specific to you. It answers your specific questions and helps you on your specific journey. So it's going to be far more accurate to you personally. So let's get started with what June holds for you in the month of June. Let's see. So you've got the Nine of Cups um, which is around you. This is you know how you're feeling. You're feeling very uh, comfortable in your home environment. Um, you're in a good place. Things are um, you know family is really important. Connections um, being around family, uh, joy, happiness, socializing, family functions, um, the love, the security that comes with all of that. That's really strong around you. So you have a really strong sense of belonging, of family, of comfort, of warmth, um, of things being, um, you know, this contentment. So that you've, you've got, you know, in June, you've got this sort of really real contentment about family, about uh, belonging. You know, family is also close friends, don't forget. It's, you know, defined family. Family is anyone that really you have a connection with and there's a love with and there's a mutual respect and safety with. So it can also be very close friendships, but there's just this feeling of feeling loved, feeling secure, feeling safe, uh, fe being in a loving environment around you in June, uh, which is really lovely. It's really, really lovely. <clears throat> From May, you know, through May to, to June, the, the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, is yours. It's really uh, difficult times have come about, so, you know, they've, the circle of life, the Wheel of Life is, has, has done its, its full rotation and it's now coming back up to um, being in a good place. It's, it's things are settling down. Uh, the hardships and the tribulations that you've felt and you've gone through are starting to ease so that your, your journey is going to start to move along a lot uh, with a lot more ease, with a lot more peace um, as well, so that the difficulties are a thing of the past. It, you know, everything's in cycles. It's, you know, every everyone has their turn of hardships and difficult situations, but you can always know that that will eventually end, that will come to an end and things will start to get better um, as well. You know, things are going to, in June, be happening around you very, very quickly. There's going to be change. There is going to be change around you um, in June and I feel like that change is around, a lot of that change has been brought about by you, changes that you've wanted to make and it's about time to make them. So uh, I feel like some of you are all of a sudden changing jobs, changing location, moving house. It's something that's happening very, very swiftly. Um, it's something that is going to catch a lot of you by surprise, There's this move um, move of location, move of house, move of uh, changes in um, situations, family situations, changes in work situations, changes in financial situations. There's just, I want to say to you, change in, in all aspects. Things can happen very quickly in June around you. So where things might have been a little bit frozen, a little bit stuck in the past in May, 
and previously. The energies around you now are ones of progress, of things moving, of things changing very quickly, situations coming up around you where you need to make decisions quickly, uh, decide things quickly. You haven't got time to think about them. You need to know where it's at and what you're wanting from, from various situations around you. Um, you know around you it's it's also about you know happy memories so you know whether you you feel this contentment but it's about children around you it's about childhood it's about children it's about happiness it's about um, memories of happy times um, around you as well um, just this it's just a really nice um feeling that's coming up around you you're just going to feel very comfortable is the word that I want to use for you um, feeling very very comfortable <clears throat> again you know the prince of swords that's um, that's like the knight in in the uh, traditional um, tarot deck it's you know they they come in and and change things very quickly they come in on impulses they come in on you know there's an impulse there's a rush there's a doing things without really thinking through them it's it's doing things quickly um, it's feeling like this is the right thing to do and just doing it uh, without any pre-thought so things happening quickly around you which is really also what this is about it's it's things happening quickly around you so there's going to be things that are happening quickly around you to do with family I feel I feel like there's things that are going to happen quickly around you to do with family who's coming to live with you who's moving in who's needing to who's needing to move in or needing for you to look after them um, to do to nurture them uh, it things are going to happen things you know is it a child that's coming back home uh, things are going to happen quickly around you um, or are you moving somewhere but I feel like more there's going to be someone coming into the home and staying with you because they're going to be needing some assistance and some help um, and you're going to provide that because you, you provide this family environment, this homely environment, this comforting environment. And if it's not the home, it's you. They're going to be seeking you out. They're going to be seeking assistance and help from you. Okay, there's, you know, um, <clears throat> it's important in June that you keep in touch with reality. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't fill in the gaps. Don't make assumptions. Uh, it's really about don't let your imagination run away with you. It's really about keeping it real. It's really about making decisions on facts, on things that you know. If you don't know, then ask, find out, because that's going to be really a very important factor here um, in this family situation of knowing um, what the facts are knowing what is involved before you make choices and decisions don't make snap decisions for some of you it's um it's ideas that you've had on the boil all these ideas and things that you want to realize and choosing which ones you're going to create and make into a reality uh, if you've got your own business it could be that if you're wanting a promotion it could be that um, if you've always wanted to move house or move location, it could be that. Where do you want to move to? What do you want to do? Uh, what decisions do you want to make? Okay, you've also got the King of Wands, and the King of Wands is um, <clears throat> Sagittarius, Aquarius, sorry, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, male or female, that is around you. Um, seems to have a lot of control over the, the family situation, has a lot of control over the decision-making process. It could be a, a boss that's above you that has control over making decisions um, about you, about where you're headed and about your direction. In the home, there's, they seem to be making a lot of the decisions and choices. It seems to be taken out of your hands. Um, quite a controlling, strong personality, whoever this is, whoever this is. Um, for some of you, this is something that you're needing to nurture and, and, and bring in, but just be mindful that you're not too controlling, that you're not too overpowering, um, that you're not too, you're not calling the shots too much. Okay. Because there's going to be, there's a young person around you that's quite emotional, um, that's coming around you. See, again, in the home environment, there's a lot to do with the home this month. A lot to do in, with the home this month. 
Um, for those of you that are single, it could al it, it also means I'm also hearing that this is a, a relationship that is new, that has the potential of becoming something quite uh, serious, uh, but it's in the initial stages, it's messages, it's texts, it's, it's um, phone calls that you're going to be getting from, um, from a, a person that you've met for on a romantic um, a romantic level on a romantic path okay it's you know um, your dream life is going to be quite active you're going to get a lot of messages a lot of you're going to have a lot of intuition you're going to sort of know things before they happen you're going to know what direction things are going to go in this is the high priestess um, and it's about trusting your intuition it's about trusting uh, your emotions it's about trusting uh, because you've got experience you've got knowledge you've got you've got that ability to really work out um, and know what's ahead so don't fear it um, it's really about working it out and and utilizing that to your own advantage to your own advantage because you are also going to be juggling um, situations there's going to be a juggling effect for some of you it's a financial juggle it's a balancing, you know, money coming in, money going out. Is there enough to pay the bills? Um, you know, there's that sort of balancing, balancing of finances. For some of you, it's working two jobs. It's, it's working two jobs and balancing your time, balancing uh, the workload, um, you know, balancing. It's going to make you feel quite emotional. Um, you're going to have a bit of difficulty with it. You're going to get tired. So you really need to be mindful. You know, June's going to be a really emotionally uh, intense month for you. There's going to be a lot happening. You need to collect yourself and, and hold your integrity, um, follow your beliefs, follow what you feel, follow your gut in making choices and decisions. Don't allow anyone to come in and dominate and make those decisions or take you control away from you and make those decisions for you it's really important that you um, take charge yourself you know with those with those decisions with what's available to you okay I'm going to give you a card from the angels of abundance let's see what's the overall is you know but life is really sort of it's turning around for you there's a lot to do with family so there's a real need of um, you know family or very good friends that need your support um, that need your support it's like you're holding it together because you you are you create such a lovely home environment you know you have you, you create such a, a lovely home environment it says here you know clearing debts clearing debts now that's not just financial debts Okay, let's see what that says. That's an interesting card, isn't it, for you? So, your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. That's very much what the month is, isn't it? You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and make a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. And that's emotional ones. And so, you know, it really is about being an emotional month. It is about being an emotional month, a lot to do with friends in need or family members, um, family environment. Don't be bullied, don't be controlled into making choices and decisions that you don't want to make by this strong personality that's around. Okay, It's really about listening to your intuition, listening to your intuition and making those decisions making those decisions yourself, balancing them out, what pros and cons, and make those decisions for yourself. Okay. Um, I, th I hope that that's helpful for you. I hope that's helpful for you for the your journey through the month of June. And um, I will see you mid-month to see how you're faring. And I wish you many, many blessings.